Now from July 2018 onwards, Google Chrome browser has decided to flag websites without SSL certificates as insecure. For example, if you see at the bottom earlier, what was happening is in the earlier version of Google Chrome, the websites which did not have SSL certificate or HTTPS, it would display something like this, this eye icon at the left hand side and the website name. Now they displayed something like this. It says not secure in the browser. Let me show you an example. This is metrolytics.com. This is quite a famous website, but as you can see, this has not installed SSL certificate and it says this website is not secure in the browser. Now, when you click on this, it says your connection to this site is not secure. You should not enter any sensitive information on this site, for example, password or credit cards because it could be stolen by attackers. Now, as you can see, this is quite a dangerous thing. We don't want this to be shown on, on our website. Now, there's more, there are many disadvantages of not having an SSL certificate on your website. One is this thing which you see on your screen that it will display something like this, that your website is not secure. The other thing is that if you have an e-commerce website, you cannot accept payment on your website. You cannot accept a credit card, debit card payment on your website. And some more disadvantages include, you know, not getting SEO ranks. So your website will not be ranked higher on Google and there are many different disadvantages. Okay. So we don't want this thing to be happening to our website. Now, the good thing is that now SSL is provided for free with almost any single hosting provider. So it doesn't matter which hosting provider you're associated with. You can get a free SSL certificate. And that is exactly what I'm going to show you in this video. Now, first of all, what you need to do is you need to go to your uh, hosting provider main page, the hosting page, and you, do, and you need to see something over here. For example, if you see this is host getter. It says free SSL certificate even in the cheapest plan. Okay, as you can see, this starts at just 275 per month and it says a uh, free SSL certificate. Now, this is TMD hosting. Now, this also says free SSL. Here it is. Now, this says let's encrypt SSL certificate. So, there is two ways that I'm going to show you in this video. The first way is that most of the website now have uh, automatically installed SSLs. So you just need to see whether SSL is automatically installed on your website. You might not even know that SSL is actually installed on your website. Okay. So it happens. Okay. Because for example, this website, as you can see, it says not secure, but it, there are chances that SSL is installed on this website. You just need to activate this. The other case scenario is that SSL is not installed on your website, but it is free to install. There is a let's, there is something called let's encrypt in your C panel, which is free. As you can see here, it says let's encrypt SSL. So you can use this let's encrypt SSL to install free SSL on your website. So this was TMD. Even in SiteGround, if you see the web hosting, it says free SSLs included. So let's see. Now, when you hover this all essential features, as you can see, it says free SSL and HTTPS for A2 hosting as well. As you can see over here, it says free SSL and SSD. So almost every single hosting provider now provides free SSL certificate. Now let me cut all these things and let me show you how you can get one. Okay. So first let me try this for this website. So first let me go my, back to my dashboard. Now this is the first way that I'm showing you. Okay. So let me first very quickly log in over here. Now, first we need to find whether SSL is automatically installed on our website or not. So it's very easy to do that. You can simply click on over here and type just before your domain name type HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash. Okay. And press enter. Let's see what happens. Now, as you can see, uh, uh, I am redirected to the HTTPS version. Now I have to log in again. So let me log in again and click on login. Now, as you can see, uh, it is showing this green pad over here. Now it says that this, uh, this connection is secure now, which means that SSL was actually already installed on this website. Now, if you see this thing, now you have, you have to follow these steps that I'm going to show you, in, uh, now. Okay. But if you see 
uh, that some screen like red mark that this website is not secure you see some red website i'll try to show that uh, screenshot if you see that on your screen if you see a screen like this uh, then then you have to you know follow some other step but for first let me show you these steps for this thing okay when you see and when this thing is enabled so what you have to do you have to simply click on settings and click on general now here http is typed just type in https again https and now go at the bottom click on save changes again it will ask you to log in so simply log in now you can click on hover plugins and click on add new and insert a plugin called simple ssl now this is not required but uh, this plugin is used because earlier what was happening all your website data uh, all uh, was on unsecured thing insecure thing now your website is secure then you can use this simple plugin to move all the files to the secure site now once you install this you will see a screen like this you will see some message so you simply have to click on go ahead activate ssl all right so it says as ssl activated don't forget to change your whatever it is okay so just forget all these things so we are just focusing on ssl certificates now the other case scenario is that when you change this to https you see that screen insecure screen okay so what we have to do now so for that first you have to go to your cpanel if you don't know this link of your cpanel you simply type in your website name for example nayashik.com forward slash cpanel and click on just press enter okay so whatever your website name then forward slash cpanel now enter your username and password and click on login now if you don't remember your username and password go check your mail whenever you sign up for any hosting provider uh, for the first time you will receive a mail so go check your gmail you should have a email from your hosting provider you know including all the username and passwords now here you have to search for something called let's encrypt ssl so let's see uh, it should be under security here it is let's encrypt ssl click on this one now i have tried this this works uh, on uh, side ground this works on tmd and many different companies okay now what you have to do you have to click on this let's see now this screen might look different on different hosting providers so don't worry you simply have to search for your website for example i suppose i want to all right guys so i found out that this website test3.nashik.com is not secure and does not have a ssl certificate so you have let's install ssl on this site now again i am saying this screen the let's encrypt ssl screen might look different for different website you just have to follow the same steps or similar steps okay so what i see this option issue you can click on this issue option it will is issue ssl certificate now simply you don't need to include wildcard uh, wildcard and all those things just leave those okay and you can add uh, ssl to subdomains like you know web domain and all these things but that is also not required simply select this thing now make sure everything is default and click on issue now as you can see this says this uh, the ssl certificate uh, certificate is now installed on this domain so now let's see uh, sometimes it might take four or five minutes for the ssl certificate to install on your website so if you uh, type in https and still don't see that don't worry try it after a few minutes so let me try it over here https colon slash slash now as you can see ssl is installed on this website so you just need to take care of this screen it might look different again i am saying that so just take care of that if you see some different kind of screen for example in side ground i remember i don't have a side ground account right now so i cannot show you but in side ground screen was different you had a uh, option to select uh, the website first you have to select the website then you have to click on install so just it was in fact more simpler more easier in side ground so simply select your website click on install and after four or five minutes try this uh, thing on your website and it should work okay so i hope this video was helpful for you guys if you have any doubt any comments for me you can leave them in the comment section below if you are still not able to you know install free ssl on your website please let me know in the comment section below don't simply dislike the video just let me know in the comment section below i'll try to help you guys okay and also please let me know whenever you comment uh, for example if you are not able to install ssl certificate on your website 
leave a comment in this section below and also let me know the hosting provider you're associated with okay so i can help you more better okay so i hope this video was helpful guys thanks a lot for watching see you soon